In this video, you will learn how to set up the MHK2 wireless touchscreen controller. We will walk through the proper steps to physically install and set up the MHK2 wireless controller as a standalone control option. The items included in the MHK2 wireless controller's packaging are as follows. Installation and owner's manuals. Wall plate. Wireless controller. Battery. Receiver. Wire. It is highly recommended to have the MHK2 wireless controller installed by an HVAC professional and connected to its designated connector on the indoor unit circuit board. For reference, you will need to connect the MHK2 signal receiver to CN105 on the indoor unit's control circuit board. After installing the MHK2 signal receiver to the indoor unit, you can now power up the equipment. Install the provided batteries into the MHK2 wireless controller. Next, press the connect button on the MHK2 signal receiver and wait until it flashes green. Once you are at this point, you can press connect receiver on the MHK2 wireless controller. A countdown will appear on the display. Once paired, the word success will appear on the MHK2 wireless controller's display. At this point, press Done to continue. Start Setup will display on the screen. In order to complete the setup, you will need to go through all the installer setup options. After you go through all the installer settings, you will need to input the date and time. After this, you will get a normal display on the Kumo Touch wireless controller. One last important step will be to go back to the receiver and press the connect button to finish the pairing. For additional information, please feel free to visit our website at mylinkdrive.com. If there are any videos you would like to request in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future tech tips episodes.